Right, uh, here we have the old motor at the back, the single phase motor, and the new three phase motor at the front. Uh, the old single phase motor has a much larger electrical connection box um, on the right hand side and that's to enable the two starting and running capacitors to be uh, housed. Uh, that adds a lot to the bulk. Uh, it's a cast iron frame so it's very heavy. It's uh, beyond 30 kilos and it was very difficult to wrestle into place uh, once I was mounting uh, it to the flange and then the flange and the motor to the lathe mounting. Um, the new motor is just an aluminium frame and the flange just like the motor at the back is a separate fitting and it's attached with four screws um, on this particular arrangement you can see them uh, at the far left and far right and it's three in top and bottom the other four holes which are on a diagonal um, these may end up posing a bit of a problem for mounting to the new lathe now these bolts here are the ones that hold the flange to the motor casing and these four holes here are for attaching to whatever appliance you need to uh, give some motor power to so they are 14 mil diameter holes and they are on a pitch circle diameter of 215 millimeters now we also have this spigot here uh, and the height of that is four millimeters and that is purely to aid the centering of the motor to the machine that it's been attached to. It's not there to aid in supporting the device at all. Um, yeah, obviously it would be much bulkier if that was the case. Um, it's just merely for positioning the uh, motor as accurately as possible. Otherwise you'll get uh, a lot of friction between the bearings as it spins off centre uh, and it will rapidly wear out and the motor will die. Uh, that's not what you want, you want these to last for quite a while um, because they are expensive. Uh, now this pitch circle diameter of 215mm uh, is possibly end up causing problems for the motor mounting. Um, that I will have to show you under the lathe in a short while. But what you have to remember now is that these holes are on a diameter of 215mm and this outside edge is on a diameter of 180 Okay, the next bit will be underneath the lathe.